This is Elvi. Friendly, funny, smart, and very handsome. We couldn't have wished for a better cat to have around us. We don't know when or where Elfie was born, and we don't know if he had any siblings or offspring. But we do know that he has been living here for at least a few months, but maybe even for years. It's Geuzeveld, an area in the far west in the city of Amsterdam. It's not the worst place to be for a street cat. There's not too much traffic and a lot of lawns and little bushes. Elvi must have lived here among many other cats. Some stray, some belonging to owners. Survival circumstances were favorable. Still, he walked around with no collar, no microchip, and he wasn't neutered. But someday in spring, Elfie got caught in a trap. A trap set up by the SAZ, a local animal welfare foundation. Whenever the SAZ gets a report about a stray cat walking around, they take action. They'll try to find out if a cat really has no owner, and if not, they set a trap. Once caught, each cat gets a health check and will be treated for any disease it may have. It will also get neutered or spayed. The organization depends on volunteers who have a wide variety of tasks. Entertaining the cats is one of them. Once re-socialized, a cat will move to a shelter to be adopted. In Alfie's case, he was brought to the Pusa boat. It's the world's one and only floating cat shelter and it gets visited by thousands of tourists each year. So Elvi lived in a cage like this, shortly after his stay at the SAZ and before we adopted him. At the beginning, Elvi would mainly hide, behind the couch or under the bed. He also began to pee everywhere in the house, preferably on blankets and carpets. For a long time he remained very alert, as if he didn't fully trust us yet. After about half a year, things drastically improved. He stopped being outside the box and began to show more of his playfulness. We found out he could do a special trick. A little jump with his hind legs kicking in the air. Heeft er iemand een idee waar we heen marcheren? Wat maakt het uit? Vraag ik me nooit af. Ik ook niet. Ik ook niet. Elfie's bond with our daughter Laura became stronger too. And in the end, he felt perfectly at home.
Once he felt comfortable indoors, Elvery was ready to explore the enclosed area at the back of our house. One of Elvie's many virtues was his willingness to show up whenever you called him. Alfie! Everyone knows cats are extremely funny animals, and Elvi was no exception. He knew how to make us laugh. Inevitably, we started filming his shenanigans. At some point, there was so much footage it just screamed for starting a YouTube channel. All about Elvi. He turned out to be a great actor. Always ready to do something funny in front of the camera. but he wasn't always willing to cooperate. He hated to go to the vet, for instance. Getting him into the carrier always took a lot of creativity. Elfie was a healthy cat, but at some point his left eye began to look blurry. The eye doctor diagnosed a cataract, which meant his eye would have a high risk of infection. From that point on, we needed to have his eye checked regularly. Luckily, his eye got infected only once. We had to give antibiotics and eye drops to relieve the eye pressure, which he obviously didn't like. As time went by, we reached a point we felt totally connected with Elvie. He turned out to be the most affectionate cat you could ever think of. No words were needed to understand each other. Hey, he escorted Laura to school every day. He would always walk along. He would stop at the door at the end, and he would stay there, faithfully waiting for her. I didn't want to run the risk he would escape from the building, so I always had to call him back home. All these years, he escorted Laura to school.
There were more cats living in the block, and Alvy never could get along very well with them. He would keep a close eye on the entire area, to make sure other cats would stay away far enough. It was a time-consuming job for him. Not all cats accepted Elfie's dominance. A fellow ginger, Cat Edward, was his main rival. Edward challenged Elfie by walking through his territory and even sleeping on his bench. There have been a few short fights, but in the end, there was mutual respect and no major injuries occurred. Despite his territorial behavior, Elfie was a peaceful cat by nature. He definitely loved the indoor life too. Our house was a safe heaven, a place to play, cuddle and to enjoy his food. Season followed after season. Even in winter, Elvie would stick to his daily walk, although he wouldn't stay out too long. In summer, he would stay outside much longer to enjoy the sunshine. As Elvie got older, inevitably he got a little bit less energetic. At some point his jumps got a little less high. To give him a bit of a nudge, we made special stairs for him to get up the bunk bed more easily. At first he refused to use them, but eventually he was glad. He could spare his joints. Despite all this, he never stopped strolling around jumping over fences. One day, we had to go to the vet again to have his teeth cleaned but also for a general checkup. The vet had some bad news. So far, Elvie's eye pressure had always been okay, but this time it was far too high. Even so high, the dental surgery had to be cancelled. Something had to be done very quickly. High eye pressure can be extremely painful. Sadly, it was impossible to really cure his eye condition. So the vet gave us two options. Either giving him eye drops several times a day during the rest of his life, or just have his eye removed. And according to the vet, the second option would be best. Of course, we wanted to save Alfie's eye. So we took a few days to consult other eye doctors. But they all confirmed the vet's opinion. So, in the end, with a heavy heart, we bit the bullet. The eye surgery was successful, but Elvie still needed to wear a comb. To
We felt so sorry for him. The cone made simple things like eating, scratching and cleaning almost impossible. He also wasn't allowed to go out for his daily walk. After 10 long days, the cone could finally be removed. Now we could go outside again, under supervision for the time being. We were determined to help him as much as possible, to get used to his new life as a one-eyed cat. We put a new cat tree on the balcony, so he could sit high up and have the advantage over other cats trying to enter his territory. He also got a new outdoor toilet to make it easier to leave his scent for possible intruders. But it was amazing to see how quickly Elvie adapted. In no time he moved around just like he had done before. And he was able to intimidate his rivals. All in all, he was still the same happy cat as we always know him. Not bothered whatsoever by being just one-eyed. Still, his teeth needed to be cleaned. Two months after his operation, we went to the vet again. Now it was for a dental surgery. He would stay half a day in the recovery room, and then he would be fit enough to be picked up again. And that's where the story suddenly ends. Much sooner than expected, we got a phone call from the vet. He told Alvi had passed away during the surgery. Unexpectedly, they had him checked first. He seemed in good physical condition, but nonetheless his heart had suddenly stopped beating. CPR had been tried, but sadly it was in vain. We didn't feel ready for it, but we had to say goodbye. gave him a mousy to keep him company. And we made paw prints in tablets of clay. Then the box had to be closed. Mm -hmm.